Hey guys, thanks heaps for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, I wanted to do a question and answer video today. Basically, I had some common questions come through. I want to take the time, let you know about the guitars that I have in my um, small limited collection, but um, guitars that I love nonetheless. Um, first question was why I wear sunglasses in some of my videos and basically it looks better in short. My eyes don't dart all over the place so it looks a lot less creepy and it makes me appear that I'm looking directly into the camera for the video at all times, so even when I'm playing. So it looks better, it's a little bit cooler, so to speak, a um, bit better for the clickbait, um, but mainly because I'm blind as a bat, they're prescription sunglasses and they look very similar to the glasses that I do wear. So um, next question was, uh, what instruments that I do play? I do play the, the clarinet. I started on the clarinet as a woodwind instrument when I was eight or nine, moved on to the alto sax at a 10 or 11. Then when I got a bit older, about 12, 13, I played the tenor sax for a few years. By the time I was 15 in high school and everything that goes on at that stage, I was quote unquote too cool to play music or woodwind instruments. I wasn't able to play the guitar yet. So um, I stopped playing for many years. I didn't start learning the guitar until um, I was 23. Um, one of my best friends, Rob Ryan, taught me, tried to teach me all through uni for four or five years. I said, no, 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 I don't have time. When I started working full time at 23, I needed an outlet, guitar was it, and um, it's been my driving passion throughout life um, ever since. So here we are about seven years later, and um, I've got a, about seven guitars that I've collected over those seven years. So I'll just um, run through those now. I started off on the Martinez, acoustic guitar, beautiful no input, um, really nice start guitar, got it for about $100 back in 2009, started playing in 2010, thank you to my parents for that Christmas gift, um, actually bought it through a, a friend of mine, Amanda Cole, second hand, hence why it's got some stickers on it, Etnies and Monkey Drum, not sure why you put those on a guitar, but anyway, I didn't want to peel them off. The first electric guitar that I got was a Gretsch Electromatic, and mainly I, I picked this guitar because the look, I had to ask for the sunburst color and get it ordered in, but it just felt right, it sat on my lap perfectly, it sounded good, although it's a jazzy blues guitar. Um, it, to learn in my first electric guitar, I'm so glad that I bought it. I'll keep it for the rest of my life, it's amazing. Third guitar was uh, an acoustic, so I needed a plug-in acoustic this time, and I stumbled across this Ibanez. Why I had an electric guitar on layby, which I'll show you next. But this um, basically, it had the look. It was unique. Each uh, guitar itself has a different wood grain. Wood grain, so they're all individual. This one looks like a bit of a scarecrow with a big mustache. You can see that at all with two eyes, a little bit creepy. Um, so you'll see all my acoustic videos, I use this guitar, but I love the inlay um, and everything about it, the feel. My good friend Rob, as I mentioned, he got the action nice and low for me as well because he lent it for a gig. And uh, it's got beautiful action and sounds great um, just by itself. The third guitar Fourth guitar was this ESP, I should say. Um, and I had this on lay-by for about two years and why I had it on lay-by, I actually bought the Ibanez Acoustic. Um, but Ebony fretboard, I went in to buy a black Les Paul Gibson and walked away with this on lay-by because it was better value for the money. Even though I believe it's made in, made in Japan, ESP. It had the Floyd Rose and the Ebony fretboard. Um, Certainly a great guitar, beautiful for the metal guitar, and uh, I use it on my cover of Bullets uh, with Butterfly Wings by the Smashing Pumpkins. Fifth guitar was an electric that I managed to get off um, my good friends, Alan Kinder. He parted with it second hand, got it for sale of the Century pricing, uh, but it's Mexico made, absolutely fantastic to gig with, super reliable, stays in tune. Um, and it's just a joy to play. It's got that beautiful rock and roll sound or country twang, depending on what you're after. And and the latest 
addition is the, um, the Gibson ES335. Double cut, cherry, absolutely gorgeous guitar. Um, I love the feel. It's just the best guitar that I have basically. And um, I did use it on the, the latest track that I uploaded, the original song, Never Far From Me. So please check that out. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and the last question that um, did come in for myself was why why I vlog or why I upload videos and basically uh, to support my passion, keep my progression going musically. Um, doing the videos gives me a lot more focus on learning songs and um, you know stretching my ability, so to speak. So I love to play, I love to share the music because I'm basically creating a, a diary of my um, guitar journey over the years. So um, I'm all about supporting other artists, so um, I love original music. So um, if you have a channel, leave me a comment. I'd be happy to check it out. I'd love to see your original music, share your original music. Um, all about the thumbs up, so um, please share that social currency. Subscribe, give the likes, and um, if anyone's interested in um, cross-promoting channels or collaborating, I'm more than happy to hear from you. Um, I'd love to discuss the type of music that you're into. And um, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want more videos like this, please let me know. Enjoy your day.